How are you doing? Ever wondered about the profitability of Tamarillo farming? Also know as loosely as tree tomato. Well, you're in for a treat. Today we delve into the world of Tamarillo, also known as tomate de arbol or tree tomato. Originating from the Andean highlands of South America, this fruit has adapted to regions near the equator where temperatures are relatively stable year-round. A tamarillo tree is a shrubby, densely branching tree that forms an umbrella-like crown. In its natural habitat, it can grow up to 6 meters tall. The tree's oval to heart-shaped leaves, growing up to 25 centimeters long, give it a decorative appearance even without fruit. After two years, the tamarillo begins to form its first flowers from June onwards. These flowers resemble those of related nightshade plants, such as tomatoes or potatoes, and are usually pale pink with a sweet fragrance. The egg-shaped fruits, green when growing, turn orange to dark red when ripe, depending on the variety. There are two types of tamarillos, Solanum batacium, known as the tree tomato, and Solanum abutiloides, the perennial dwarf tree tomato. To plant and grow tamarillos, which are frost-hardy, it's best to place them in a frost-free location in winter. Transplanting young plants is typically done in the spring, around mid-May, when frosty nights are no longer a risk. It's also possible to grow tamarillos from seed, sowing the seeds in compost from April onwards. If you have access to a tree tomato, you can propagate new plants from it, either from seed or cuttings. Indigenous Muthaqua plant can be used as rootstock to graft tamarillo, which make the plant a bear fruits within nine months. The first fruits appear from the second year of growth, ripening in late summer to autumn. Harvest is ready when they take on their typical orange to dark red color and cave in slightly when pressed. Each tamarillo fruit weighs up to 100 grams with a yellow-orange flesh divided into seed chambers. The fruits of the tamarillo plant do not store well, so it's advised to process them quickly or eat them fresh. They can be eaten fresh, peeled, or cut in half and spooned out. The pulp has a sweet and sour flavor. Sprinkle a little sugar on it if you have more of a sweet tooth. Not only are they delicious, but they're also packed with vitamin C, calcium, potassium, and magnesium. Tamarillo fruits are a rich source of natural pigments with potential antioxidant activity, giving them a remarkable added value. Phenolics are the main antioxidants found in the tamarillo fruit pulp. The tree tomato flesh can be added to stews to make unique flavor and the fruits are tasty and decorative in salads making appetizing desserts. Fresh tree tomato is often blended with sugar and water to make refreshing juice, desserts, salads, sandwiches, soups, preserves. Also consider value addition by making tamarillo jams are packed with flavor. Now on to the burning question, how profitable is tamarillo farming? In Kenya, for instance, each tree produces an average of 20 to 30 kilograms of fruits annually. Therefore, from one acre, you would harvest approximately 20, 30 tons of fruits yearly and sell a kilo locally at between 60 and 100 shillings. With buyers from surrounding areas, towns, and beyond, tamarillo farming can be a profitable agribusiness idea. In summary, tamarillo farming involves planting and caring for these fruit-bearing trees, from propagation to harvesting. With their frost-hardy nature, decorative appearance, and delicious, nutritious fruits, tamarillos can be both a rewarding and profitable venture. Comment and subscribe for more insights, so why not consider adding tamarillos to your farming pursuits?